On the bench today is this little HF Packer amplifier. It belongs to my friend Drew, W2OU. It's a little 35 watt amplifier for use with low power uh, amateur radio gear on frequency bands from 160 meters up to 10 meters. And uh, so Drew asked me to do a little work on this amplifier. So while it's here, I thought we'd take a look and check out the filter assembly. There's a switch set of low pass filters, depending on which band you're operating on. You throw the switch into that band position and switch in the appropriate filter. So uh, because it's on a separate board like this, it's really easy to check out uh, on its own. So I thought we'd take a look at that. So these two wires here would, would normally connect the, ampli the filter assembly in series with the output of the amplifier. But, so I just disconnected those and I wired in some jumpers that I made to connect me up to the output of the tracking generator and to the spectrum analyzer input. So those, these filters are supposed to have characteristics that look basically like this. Now of course these plots only go down to about 40 dB. Uh, my analyzer can show a little bit deeper so the characteristics are going to look a little bit different than that. So let's go take a look at them. Uh, again I hooked in my jumpers in here and I've hooked in 12 volts onto that board so I can use the switch to switch in the various filters via these relays and we'll take a look at the results on the analyzer. So I get this uh, kind of sitting here still. So right now the switch position is in the 10 and 12 meter position which covers basically 24 megahertz and 28, 29 megahertz. So uh, this is the low pass filter characteristic. I've got about 0 dBm going in so uh, that's nice and convenient. Uh, so that we can look at how many dB down we are, we are kind of directly on the marker value. So if I, I've got the marker sitting now, you know, in the 10 meter band, okay, and it's showing less than a dB of insertion loss, but it might even be less than that. I didn't do any uh, kind of normalization here. I just want to look at the basic filter shapes. So if we look at a, where the filter is about 3 dB down, okay, that's a good measure for a filter. It's about 37 megahertz. And that's a good value, um, you know, it's above the, uh, the highest frequency we're going to use on the 10 meter band. And let's also take a look at where we are, say, maybe 40 dB down, because that's really a good rejection level. So we're 40 dB down here at about 50 megahertz. And that's pretty good, because that's right about the second harmonic uh, for 12 meters, and it's, uh, you know, under the, the second harmonic for uh, 10 meters, so that looks like it works well. I'm going to switch the uh, filter bank now to the 15 and 17 meter position. Okay, so that's 21 megahertz and about uh, 18 megahertz. So if we look at where, you know, up here at 18 megahertz uh, and 20 megahertz, 21 megahertz, so we're certainly nice and flat up through the 15 meter band. We're about 3 dB down. Oh, right about here, about 27 megahertz, 26, 27 megahertz. And we're about, uh, let's see, we're about 40 dB down at about uh, 39 megahertz. Again, nice place to have the filter for that band. The next uh, filter is the 20 and 30 meter filter. Okay, This is a, a higher order filter, so it's got some lobes in it. And uh, again, the highest frequency we're going to operate on here is, uh, let's see, is uh, 20 meters which is uh, 14 megahertz, so we're still nice and reasonably flat up there. And then uh, we can see we're about 3 dB down at about 15 megahertz. Okay, 15, about 16 megahertz. And uh, we dip down here. Uh, looks like we dip down to about uh, a little, little more than 40 dB down at that first notch. But then where we really go 40 dB down and, and gone forever, if you will, is uh, right about here, about 25 megahertz. And again, that's, uh, that's pretty good for... Uh, uh, the 30 meter and 20 meter band. Let's go to the next filter selection. This is now the 40 and 60 meter band. Okay, so 60 meters is about 5 megahertz, and uh, we can see up there, you know, we're we're okay there. And 40 meters is about 7 megahertz, so we're okay there as well. And then you know, we're about 3 dB down. Let's adjust that marker around here. Uh, right about here, or so about 9 megahertz and then 40 dB down at about 13. Okay, the next position is the 80 and 75 meter uh, frequency range, which is typically th about you know, 4 megahertz and below. And we can see we're nice and flat at 4, and then we're 3 dB down, uh, right about 4.5 megahertz, and then we're about 40 dB down at about 7.8, uh, 7.9 megahertz. 
Then the final position is the 160 meter position, okay, where the maximum frequency is 2 megahertz. And we can kind of see we're kind of flat all the way up there. And then we'll start top, dropping down. We're going to be 3 dB down. Uh, let's see, somewhere in this neighborhood, about 2.5 megahertz or so. And then 40 dB down right about here at about uh, 4.8. So uh, anyway, it looks like the filters are working pretty well. Looks to me like that uh, 20 meter filter could be opened up ever so slightly, but I think uh, it'll work fine. So uh, anyway, I thought you'd be enjoy seeing uh, how you can quickly go through and quickly assess the performance of some low pass filters using a spectrum analyzer that has a tracking generator and quick make some quick measurements. Thank you for watching.